Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this AZ500 Azure Security Engineer Certification course. In this video, we're going to talk about application security. Let's have a high level look at the things what we're going to learn in this video. We will start with learning about Microsoft Identity Platform. What are the different types of Azure AD application scenarios? How can you register an app? And we will talk about different types of Microsoft Graph permissions. We will discuss about Microsoft Managed Identities and Web App Certificates as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Microsoft Identity Platform is an evolution of Azure Active Directory Developer Platform. It allows developers to build applications that sign in users, get tokens to call APIs, such as Microsoft Graph or APIs that developers have built. It consists of an authentication service, open source libraries, application registration and configuration, a developer portal and application API, full developer documentation, quick start samples, code samples, tutorials, how-to guides, and other developer content. Microsoft Identity Platform supports industry standard protocols such as OAuth 2.0 and OpenID and OpenID Connect. This is an example diagram. This is an example diagram showing the Microsoft Identity experience at a high level. This include the app registration experience, software development kits or SDKs, endpoints and supported identities. The Microsoft Identity Platform has two endpoints, version 1 and version 2 and two sets of client libraries to handle these endpoints. When developing a new application, consider the advantages and the current state of the endpoints and the authentication libraries. Microsoft Identity Platform version 2 endpoint is now OIDC certified. It works with Microsoft authentication libraries, which is MSAL, or any other standards compliant library as well. It implements human readable scopes in accordance with industry standards. Let's understand Azure AD application scenarios. Any application that outsources authentication to Azure AD needs to be registered in a directory. This step involves telling Azure AD about your application. In Azure AD, an application object describes an application as an abstract entity. Developers work with applications. At deployment time, Azure AD uses a specific application object as a blueprint to create a service principle, which represents a concrete instance of an application within a directory or tenant. It's the service principle that defines what the app can do in a specific target directory, who can use it, what resources it has access to, and so on. Azure AD creates a service principle from an application object through consent. Let's look at the workflow here. The first step is from a user B tries to sign in with the app. Second step is where Azure AD gets and verifies user credentials. And the third step is where Azure AD prompts the user to consent for the app to gain access to the tenant B. Fourth step is where Azure AD uses application object in A as a blueprint for creating service principle in B. And the fifth step is where the user receives the requested token. Let's understand app registration. Before your application can get a token from Microsoft Identity Platform, it must be registered in the Azure portal. Registration integrates your app with your Microsoft Identity Platform and establishes the information that it uses to get tokens, including application ID, redirect URI or URL, and application secret. So what is an application ID? Application ID is a unique identifier assigned by the Microsoft Identity Platform. Then what is the redirect URI or URL? One or more endpoints at which your application will receive responses from the Microsoft Identity Platform. For native and mobile apps, this is a URI assigned by the Microsoft Identity Platform. The last is Application Secret, a password or a public-private key pair that your app uses to authenticate with the Microsoft Identity Platform. That is called Application Secret. 
Let's understand Microsoft Graph permissions. Microsoft Graph exposes granular permissions that control the access that apps have to resources like user, groups, and mail. As a developer, you decide which permission to request for Microsoft Graph. When a user sign into your app, they or in some cases an administrator are given a chance to consent to these permissions. If the user consents, your app is given access to the resources and APIs that it has requested. Microsoft Graph has two types of permissions, delegated permissions and application permissions. Let's understand what is delegated permissions. Delegated permissions are used by apps that has a signed in user present. For these apps, for these apps, either the user or an administrator consent to the permissions that the app requests and the app can act as the signed in user when making calls to Microsoft Graph. So what are application permissions? Application permissions are used by apps that run without a signed in user present. For example, apps that run as background service or demons. Application permissions can only be consented by an administrator. Let's understand Microsoft Graph API. You can use the Microsoft Graph Security API to connect Microsoft security products, services, and partners to streamline security operations and improve threat protection, detection, and response capabilities. The Microsoft Security API is an intermediary service that provides a single programmatic interface to connect multiple Microsoft Graph security providers. The Microsoft Security Graph API federates requests to all providers in the Microsoft Graph security ecosystem. This is based on the security provider consent provided by the application as shown in this example figure. The consent workflow only applies to non-Microsoft providers. So the Microsoft Graph API makes it easy to connect with security solutions from Microsoft and partners. It allows you to more readily realize and enrich the value of these solutions. And you can connect easily with the Microsoft Graph Security API by using one of the following approaches depending on the requirements. Let's understand what is managed identities. A common challenge when building cloud applications is how to manage the credentials in your code for authenticating to cloud services. Keeping the credentials secure is an important task. Ideally, the credentials never appear on developer workstation and aren't checked into source control. Azure Key Vault provides a way to securely store credentials, secrets, and other keys. But your code has to authenticate to Key Vault to retrieve them. Managed Identities for Azure Resources is a new name for the service formerly known as Managed Service Identity or MSI for Azure Resources. The feature provides Azure services with an automatically managed identity in Azure AD. You can use the identity to authenticate to any service that supports Azure AD authentication, including Key Vault, without any credentials in your code. The managed identities for Azure resources is totally free with Azure AD for Azure subscriptions. There is no additional cost to use it. So this is an example diagram which shows how managed service identities work with Azure Virtual Machines. Now let's understand web app certificates. You can restrict to your Azure App Service app by enabling different types of authentication for it. One way to do it is to request a client certificate when the client request is over TLS or SSL and validate the certificate. This mechanism is called TLS Mutual Authentication or client certificate authentication. To access your site over HTTP and not HTTPS, you will not receive any client certificate. So if your application require client certificates, you should not allow requests to your application over HTTP. All right, so that concludes application security in Azure. In the next video, we're going to learn about storage security in Azure. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.